Bounds. Absolutely, this is not a sound argument. Why? How do we know that this is not a sound argument? Let's try to check. A ruler is still in slow. Is it true or false? It is true. Pinoy is a ruler. Is it true or false? It is true. Because Pinoy before was really a ruler. He was a ruler. He is a leader. Pinoy is still in slow. This is false. Okay? Pinoy is a ruler. A Pinoy is still in slow. Is a false. Now, I'd like to, to discuss with you now the three fundamental elements of logic that all of us should remember. Based on our discussion, the discussion from validity of reasoning, formal logic and material logic, I'd like you to take note. In order for us, even if you do, you, you do not know what are the ten rules of categorical syllogism, for as long as to apply these three fundamental rules of logic, it is easy for you to identify or to discover fallacies in reasoning or fallacies in arguments or errors in argumentation. First, terms must be unambiguous. Terms must be unambiguous. In other words, terms must be clear. Terms must be precise, terms must be definite, terms must be exact, and there's no other interpretation of the terms employed in reasoning. What's the meaning is ambiguous? Ang sinabi ko doon, unambiguous. We talk about ambiguous meaning it's not clear, it's unclear. There is a claro, it's equivocal. Kaya nang the word ruler that we have here is there is a claro. To give you another example on uh, equivocation, all stars are shining at night, but Uncortis is a star. You look at the two words there. I look at the word star there. It's of ambiguity. So para siyang, it possesses a double meaning that there are other terms that may be attributed to this particular term. That's why it's not clear. It's doubtful. It's doubtful. It's unclear. Dapat Terms should be clear, terms should be precise, terms should be accurate, terms should be exact, terms should be definite. So to avoid any vagueness or ambiguity. So that's, that's the, the meaning of that. 